she literally put photos of a dead body behind a paywall. Zav Girl is a true crime YouTuber and what they do is talk about recent crimes or old ones and etc. But she is coming under fire recently because of her recent video where she talked about a true crime from a child being murdered by her stepmother. And after the video was posted, she decided it was a good idea to put the autopsy photos behind a paywall. I bet you're wondering how the hell she got the autopsy photos. But actually, all she did to get the photos is she asked the local police for the files and archives of it. And she was given it. And then she had the bright idea to put it behind a paywall on Patreon. Y you know, fantastic person, isn't she? Well, at least there's a little bit of a silver lining. Her Patreon is gone. Thank God for that. And after her Patreon got nuked, this has led to now Zav Girl making an apology video. And it's a terrible one. <laughs> like, it's actually horrible. Hi everyone. If you're listening to this, then you likely know about the last few days. I want to apologize to everyone I've hurt, but especially Cannon's family. I've been doing some major soul searching and reflecting. There are many trying to define my motivations. And while I'm not looking for forgiveness or trying to make excuses, I do hope to provide additional context that has not been made clear. It's an alright beginning for an apology, but it's quite obvious she's reading out a script. But you know, it's alright. It just visually looks like she's forced to do an apology, but at least she gets to give out her side properly if she's reading out a script. I have followed the Letitia Stout case closely, and it was actually during the trial that I made the official records request. And it was in El Paso County, Colorado. I requested all the video, audio, and written records. I made no request for autopsy photos. I wanted all trial records, but my main interests were interviews with Letitia. The autopsy photos just happen to be in the files. Uh, well, there's the first blunder. Well, you know guys, I didn't mean to get the autopsy photos, but since I have them, I guess I can show it to you guys. But wait, I'll put it behind a little paywall because I do like a little pr lucky profit. I mean, like, I understand that she may not have intentionally gotten those photos, but you still put them on your Patreon for God's sake. I spent time reviewing what I received so I could provide more info from the trial. I believe many of my images were already shown during the televised trial, and I saw the photos on other public YouTube channels that live streamed the trial and shared the evidence. I didn't think any of the images were new. These photos were already public, although the video I put together with the coroner's voice was my own creation. Okay, passing the blame on other nameless people saying that they did it as well doesn't give you a get out of free jail card. You knowingly gave out those photos in full graphic detail. And still, your argument about other news sites showing the photos still won't work because they didn't put it behind a paywall. Well, you know, genius logic from Zav Girl. I chose to put the video on Patreon because of the sensitive nature of the evidence. Putting the evidence behind a paywall meant added security, and I naively thought they wouldn't be made public. The video I created with a voice from the coroner wasn't meant to be shared outside of Patreon, and I chose not to put the photos on YouTube, a public forum, where the views would have allowed me to make more money and the photos would be seen by more people. I actually hate this person. She's actually just a fucking monster, you know? Let's start breaking down her idiotic statements. She says she put it behind a paywall because she thought it adds a bit of security to it. Well, you must be dumb if you think screenshotting and piracy doesn't exist. And the next one about how you could have made more money if you showed them in the video. But bruh, your video would have been age restricted and your income and potential views will tank because of it. This is actually not an apology. All she's doing is justifying her actions. Because the video was placed behind a paywall, rumors about the images not being blurred or being different than what was shown in trial started to surface. No photos shows genitalia. I have made no jokes about the photos. I don't even cuss on my channel and I would never allow derogatory remarks about a victim. I realized my intentions were not communicated well. My channel style is sort of me hanging out with friends and speaking off the cuff, and I did not articulate my reasons or think my decision through. At this time, my Patreon website has been shut down. I am not sharing any of the photos or video anywhere, although you can see the photos published on other popular channels. Nothing you see is from me, nor will it ever be. To those who have supported me and followed my channel, and to the true crime community, I'm sorry I let you down. I cannot imagine the pain Gannon's family has gone through. My anger over what happened to Gannon is the reason I started following the case. I'm not this evil, heartless person like many are saying, but I'm also doing a lot of self-reflecting, 
and I'm looking into sensitivity training. I did not want to add to the family's loss with anything I said or shared about this case. And it will be a long time before I ever trust myself or my decisions again. To Gannon's family, I have no words that can make this better. No one should have to ever go through what you guys have been through. I am so very sorry for any pain that I have caused you. The worst part is that she is currently learning about sensitivity training. I never ever heard about a person needing sensitivity training. You must be a really disgusting and selfish person if you need to learn the basics of sensitivity. And yes, you did apologize to the family, which you should have done automatically. But most of the content in the video is you justifying your actions, which is a shitty thing to do. This whole video feels completely disingenuous and soulless, and all she did was justify her actions. So I'll give her an apology rating of 1.5 out of 10. And yeah, I'm gonna start rating people's apologies because there is just so many now. Anyways, that's about it. It's up to the channel. I'd appreciate it. And yeah. See you in a bit. Peace. No, I'm not long, tan, and handsome, but I'm ugly and I'm proud. Spend my days in the jellyfish fields, trying to fish you off my mind.